Welcome back to Art Class with Miss Roser. Today we are going to be talking about prehistoric art. We are going to travel far into the past. Farther. Even farther. Okay, too far. Stop. We seem to be somewhere between 40,000 and 4,000 BCE. This is a time before humans kept any written records, and the only way to record their history and culture was through rock carvings, engravings, sculptures in stone, stone arrangements, and most iconically, cave paintings. These cave paintings often depicted large animals that humans would have encountered or hunted during the Ice Age. Humans and symbols are also shown in red or black rock pigments. Today, we are unsure why cave paintings were made. Some theorize that shamans drew animals that they encountered in the spirit world. Others say they were created to bring success when hunting. These symbols could have been created as a form of language, or it could have just been a fun activity. Although we may never know why cave paintings were made, we have learned so much from our ancestors through them. Today, we are going to analyze and create our own cave painting. For this project, you will need a blank piece of white paper, different shades of brown crayons with their wrappers peeled off, and one black crayon. Let's do something a little crazy and crumple up our paper really, really tight. We're gonna carefully undo our crumple now and lay it out as flat as we can. Crumpling up our paper gives it texture, just like what you would see on a cave wall. I'm going to take one of my brown crayons, holding my paper flat and holding my crayon flat on its side, I rub it against the paper until I cover the paper in brown color. I do this so it imitates the color of a cave wall. We are now going to repeat our step of crumpling our paper so we can add some new texture. And then we're going to also use another brown crayon and repeat our last step with a different brown color. I use multiple different shades of brown and red to create a more realistic earth tone, just like you would see in nature. You can repeat this step however many times you want with however many crayons or shades of brown you have. When you are all done giving your paper color and texture, we will now rip the edges of our paper to give it a more organic shape, just like what you would see in a cave. I go around each edge of my paper, holding my paper flat so I don't rip too far into my paper and I rip along the edge, just giving it a little bit of texture, not tearing my paper in half, being very careful just to get the edges of my paper. I will now begin to illustrate my cave drawings using my black crayon. I have a worksheet in case I need some inspiration on what to draw, but if you wanted to go for something a little bit different, that's okay. I begin by drawing one of my hunters. You can do rough, hard lines. It does not have to be super accurate. This is a cave painting after all. I then do a rough sketch of a animal that I believe to be potentially a cow or some type of animal that lived around the time of the Ice Age. And then I draw another hunter. Fill, up. Fill your paper with people, animals, symbols, or anything that you would like to be on your cave wall. Once you've filled your page up with images, you have a completed cave art project.